Welcome. Uh, my name is Houston, and I just got finished writing an article on the structure of how life works over at Balanced Living Magazine, and I thought I'd come over here to YouTube and to make a quick video on it entitled, So You Want to Be a Rich Rock Star. So whatever it is that you want to do in your life, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to have in your life, it all depends on how your understanding of the structure of life works. And the more you understand the structure of how life works, the easier things will work for you and the more that will it'll work in a way that works to your benefit. So I want to present two quick models here for you in this short period of time. Uh, the first one is called the energy model. This is what's behind everything is the energy model. Using this model you can you can make a lot of changes and an understanding of how things work in your life and make it work better for you. The first thing to understand about the energy model is that everything is energy. Energy makes up everything. It's what's seen and what's unseen. Energy is that which carries and is makes up and interpenetrates and supports everything that is because everything is energy and it's made from energy. The second thing to understand is energy is only energy. It's neither good or bad, right or wrong. It's not positive or negative. Those are all spins that we add to energy. Energy is just simply energy. We add those other spins and those other definitions to it. The third thing is energy mo moves between energy poles. Uh, we know, often call those polarities. Which um, Then the fourth thing is energy is designed to flow. And this is real important, as you will understand as we talk about the forgotten fundamentals model. Energy is designed to flow. It's not designed to be held or stopped. Even the even energy that we label positive or energy energy that we label negative, it's all supposed to be it's all designed to flow. And uh, the most important thing about the energy model is that you under when you understand that everything is energy, then you realize that problems are are, are things that you don't want are are the result of resistance or it's the result of d disruption or blocks in the energy flow. And if you release the block or remove the disruption from the energy flow, then solution or health is a result. If uh, physical problems, mental problems, emotional problems, all has to do with removing the energy block, the energy disruption to the energy flow so that it can flow smoothly. And once it's, it flows, then uh, the health is restored and the solutions are achieved. Then as we move right on to the next model, the forgotten fundamentals models this may, may help make the energy model make a little a little more sense the first forgotten fundamental is, is the first two are very important because the first one is what most of us forget and no one ever teaches us that the first forgotten fundamental of life or the first forgotten fundamental of creation is the individual is the meaning maker in other words without you there there is no meaning in the absence of a meaning maker in the absence of you there is no meaning and most people don't realize this, but you've anything. But whatever you do believe will become your perceived and your felt reality. Okay? There is no meaning without you, and you're the one that gives the meaning to everything. The second forgotten fu fundamental is that energy flows, builds, charges, and strengthens where attention goes. This is what makes an, a meaning maker have meaning, because wherever your attention goes, that's where the energy flows and builds and charges. For example, if things are going well in your life and you're having ease and flow, then your focus of attention is on things that allow things to move nicely and smoothly. And yet, if you're having problems in your life or difficulties or challenges in your life, your focus of attention is on something that's creating a disruption in the energy flow. So as you begin to take the problem. And the third forgotten fundamental is that human beings are not containers, they're conduits. In other words, you're not designed to hold energy. You're not so designed to hold a grudge, you're not designed to hold an emotion, you're not designed to hold anything. You're designed to flow it through. Even if it's something you call a positive emotion or a positive feeling, if you hold on to any event that's positive, sooner or later it will turn negative on you, it'll turn against you because all energy is designed to flow and you as a human being are not designed to hold on to stuff you're designed to flow it through your system the fourth forgotten fu fundamental is everything is process or, or everything is change or everything is movement and as my grandpa Vetter would say that the only thing you can count on is change except from a vending machine and the fifth forgotten fundamental is that we need to c c 
continue to remember and recognize that all is energy. Everything is energy, which is the, which leads us back to the energy model. It's the first first uh, presupposition of the energy model that everything is energy. And in science, the smallest form of measurement that has been made is on the subatomic level. It's called a photon, and a photon is a piece of energy that's made of light and information, simply energy. So there you have it. There's the two models to consider and to think about. Um, Houston Vetter, thank you for spending this time with me. Please go check out the article over at Balanced Living Magazine. There's, they have some great articles over there and some great, a great panel of experts over there. So uh, join us over at Balanced Living Magazine, and and if you want to feel better, call Dr. Vetter.